Hi, I'm Tom Philp. We're back with Jeff Keitlinger for another conversation about Southern California water issues, and something is happening here at Diamond Valley Lake, Jeff, that hasn't happened for quite some time. The lake level is rising. What's happening? Pretty exciting. We're putting water back into Diamond Valley Lake. It's the first time since 2013. It's the first significant amount of water since 2011. Uh, we're going to put about 60, 70,000 acre feet in it total, then taper off and see how we're doing and see how the rest of the summer shapes up. Best case scenario for this year, uh, how close will we get back to our storage levels prior to the drought if we have a really good year with maximum state water project deliveries and low water use here in Southern California? So when we went into this drought in 2012, uh, we probably had about 2.5 million acre feet of our flexible storage for use, and we're down now to uh, maybe about a million acre feet. We're not going to get up to 2.5 million acre feet. We might, best case scenario, I'm thinking, get to about a million and a half. That would be a really good year, but um, we'd be excited to get to a million and a half by, the, uh, by, by next year. Okay. The drop in our reserve levels triggered uh, our allocation plan, which is our way of restricting water supplies to our member agencies. Uh, this issue is going to get revisited by the board soon, and the uh, idea is to maintain a call for conservation, but to lift the allocation. Explain uh, kind of our thinking. So staff will be recommending to our board that we don't have our mandatory allocation, and that's where we fine our member agencies if they don't meet certain uh, benchmarks for cutting back on water use. But instead, we're going to have a water supply alert all across Southern California. We're going to call for the public to conserve. We'll probably set a conservation target that we're doing, but we won't be fining our member agencies if they uh, miss the target. So we also will have some good news for boaters soon. This happens to be a very prized bass fishery behind us. What's going to be happening? So people love to come boating here, and we have a great fishery here. But when the lake dropped down below 300,000 acre feet, it holds 800, uh, we had to shut down the boat ramp. So we still had rental boats here, but people like to bring their own boats and go fishing with their own boats. So with this rise, we're now get closing in on 350,000 acre feet. By Memorial Day weekend, we're going to be open to fishing, and uh, the boat ramp will be open, and people will be al allowed to come launch. And we know the boating community, the fishing community, is really looking forward to that. So it sounds like we have a little bit of good news right now, but we're not out of the woods long term. That summed it up perfectly. Uh, we, we've still got a lot to do, and we would hope for another couple of years like this in a row. Uh, but it's certainly better than it looked last year at this time. Well, we'll enjoy it while we have it. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Tom.